MLB The Show's tour of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 16-team Pacific Coast League. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Las Vegas Aviators. Now at the plate, Jonathan Daza. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Line hard. But this will be a foul ball. And a very comfortable 81 degrees as we get things started this evening. Hit on the ground to third. And a good throw gets him one gun. Next will be the designated hitter, Eric Stamets. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. The 1 2. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That is third. The second base with Owings. In now, Chris Owings. Nope. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Seared down the first baseline. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. That is cool. The first baseman, Michael Tolia. Into the box now, Michael Tolia. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, Whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. Now at the plate, Robert Poisson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-1. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3-1, and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Pops this one up. Welker is there for it. One down. Digging in, Jonah Bryant. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The 1-1 one, one home. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. This is sky down toward right. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Digging in now, Seth Brown. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Fastball well outside. Fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Striding in, Mike Gerber looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. That is good. The third base. Colton Welker. At the plate, Colton Welker. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. On to first, and that's now two innings and two double play balls here tonight. Two away now. That is cut. Digging okay. in, Drew Butera. Butera. And 
and he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two and that's low ball four now batting Willie Abreu he begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Last half of the second set to go. And digging in is the outfielder, Greg Dykeman. The 1 1 home. I got 2 1 to count. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Standing in, Ryan Goins. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the three and two pitch. Bottom of the second here with no score. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And he'll pull into second with one away. So now to the plate, Mikey White. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Standing in now, Tyler Ramirez. Bouncer to the left side. And that's the second out. Settling in now, Colin Thoreau. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. The set and the 1-1. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now to two balls and two strikes now the 2-2 two -two pitch some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy but with the base open it's not the end of the world if you do you still need to make a quality pitch and that'll get through into center field for a base hit and he is in there at the plate it's now a two nothing game into the box Luis Barrera hit to short he gets dirty but he can't make the play it's a base hit throw comes in quickly from left so even on the hit and run they'll hold things to first and the second batter, here three. Good job. Robert. at the plate now Robert Poisson drilled to the right side and that's through into right field for a base hit and a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third so the bases become loaded now with two now gone third baseman. into the box now Jonah Bride high and deep to left center field a ball that's carrying and he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning now at the plate Peter Mooney and he'll start out their half of the third top of the order to follow the three one Fly ball out to straightaway right. Dykeman is there, one away. Striding in once again, Jonathan Daza. Jonathan. Bases are empty, one man out. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The one two. This is line to left. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. 
And he'll reach second now with one away. Now that doesn't need a hit. Eric Gannon. At the plate, Eric Stamets. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. Man at second here with two away. And next to bat, it'll be Chris Owings. Daza at second with two down. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. the stretch started to go around but he's able to check his swing for ball three I love the ability to hold up right there especially with count leverage I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch and there's ball four as this one gets away a bit digging in for his second at bat Michael no Tolia no and they're runners at the corners now Michael. runners on first and third two away Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Barrera is there and he puts this one away for the third out so a great job there of working out a potential trouble stepping in and ready for another shot Seth Brown 0 for 1 here in the early going now the payoff pitch home They pulled a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Into the box now, Ryan Goins. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. The two-two. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. At the plate, Mike Gerber, as we begin the top of the fourth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Payoff pitch one more time. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. The next 3 2. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3 and 2. Another payoff pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ramirez a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now in the box, Colton Welker. Colton Welker. Swung on and chopped toward the hole. Throw in time at first for route number two. Coming to the plate now, Drew Butera. He drew a base on balls his first time up. 1-1. One, one. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 1-2. 
hit out towards second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Now back the right field. Really a brave. So now to the plate, Willie Abreu swung out and missed, and it's even at two and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. 2 2 one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Now to the plate, Peter Mooney flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Now a long throw home. And he will get in there with their first run. It's a two to one game now. The left fielder of the two, Jonathan Garza. In now, Jonathan Daza will hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Abreu rounds the corner and is headed home. Mooney rounds third and is digging for the plate. He'll score easily as it's now a 3 2 ball game. Now back, the designated hitter, Eric Stamets. Into the box, Eric Stamets skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and striding forward the designated hitter, Mikey White. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Line towards center field. Gerber is there and he has it for the first out. Standing in, Tyler Ramirez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Strike two as the hanging slider was let go. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Digging in, Colin Thoreau. He reached on a single in his first try. 2-2, here it is. Swing and a liner. In there, a base hit. The back, the center fielder. Whoa. Standing Whoa. in now, Luis Barrera. One and two now as that one's fouled off. I'm set. Now the pitch. <laughs> Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! Into the box now, Robert Poisson. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. 
I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Ready once again, Jonah Bride. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Popped him up. Welker over to his right. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Smith, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Chris Owings. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Count still at one and two. Now here it comes. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Digging in the switch hitter, Michael Tolia. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. Around first, digging for two. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now that the center fielder, Mike Gerber. At the plate now, Mike Gerber. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that is off the wall. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one out double. The bat, the third baseman, Colton Welker. At the plate, Colton Welker. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Goins has got it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So striding in, Drew Butera, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. One and one, here it is. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Line to the right side, and a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. The right fielder, Willie Abreu. Stepping in now, Willie Abreu. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Seth Brown. The 1-2. A sharp slider taken low for a ball. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. One out, nobody on. 
Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he'll pull into second with one away. Ashton Godot is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. To the plate now, Ryan Goins. And he misses two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 2 2. A swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And the run is in to score from second. The designated hitter, number four, Mikey. White. Into the box, Mikey White, and it's fouled away. set here's the 2 2 and this one's in the dirt but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance lofted in the air out toward right center center fielder on the run he can't get to it this one's down and the run is in to score from second now a seven to five game the bad. Standing in now, Tyler Ramirez. Three and one. Colin Thoreau, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Driven nicely into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now back. So now to the plate, Colin Thoreau had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Liner toward right center. Dive, but it's off his glove, and that ought to get at least one run in. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's now an eight to five game. Now batting, center fielder, Louis. At the plate, Luis Barrera. Three and one now. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Three runs already home here. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Robert Poisson. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. And that misses ball four. A run will come in to score. Tim Melville was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Jonah Bride will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Sent on the ground out to second, and that's through into right field for a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. The batter, the first baseman. Stepping in now, Seth Brown. Still two and two. Still only one out in the inning. Now a chopper to first might only get one. There's one. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a three to six to one double play, and the side is retired.
New inning set to get underway. And coming forward now is a shortstop, Peter Mooney. The 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Poisson stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Jonathan Daza. He drove in two with a double in his last at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to 2 and 1. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. The 3 1. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batter. At the plate now is the designated Eric. hitter, Eric Stamets. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Two and two. Two out, nobody on. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now that second base with Owens. At the plate now, Chris Owings. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Greg Dykeman. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. That's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. Now here it comes. We got three balls and two strikes. Fouled away. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Digging in and looking for more, Ryan Goins. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Here it comes. Down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. The designated hitter striding forward now is the DH, Mikey White. Two for three with a double on his line so far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. One strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. You're Jamie Schultz please. is on out of the bullpen the now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Michael Tolia. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Mike. He's set. Here's the three and two. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. 
And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the now steal when he's on base. Perfect. Welcome. The 2 1. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Now back. Get Drew Butera. To the plate now. Drew Butera. Still one and two as he fouls it away. From the belt. Kicks and deals. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Stepping in, Willie Abreu. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Count is full. Here's the pitch. him up toward the left side of the infield and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. At the plate Tyler Ramirez he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase, but he won't get there. It falls in. Into the box, Colin Thoreau. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that's in there. Base hit. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move up from second to third. Now back, center fielder, Luis Barrera. In now, Luis Barrera pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Stepping into the box, Robert Poisson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the one and one pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. Runner at first here, one man out. A bouncer up the middle. To second for one, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. In now, Jonah Bryant. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. He's set. Here's the 2 2. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now the payoff pitch home. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Standing in now, Seth Brown. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. From the stretch. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Gerber has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side.
ready to begin the eighth and stepping up as the shortstop Peter Mooney. Gets the sign here comes the 2 1 high in the air out to center field. Barrera is right there one down. So digging in now Jonathan Daza he got called Jonathan. out on strikes his last time through. Yeah always frustrating to go down looking everybody does it though you'll have a few A.B.'s where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the set bat. Lands in for a base hit and he's three for five in this one. Now that designated hitter Eric Stamets. At the plate Eric Stamets. Right side but it's going to be a foul ball. Runners on first with one down. Again he sends it out of play. The next three two. Softly hit down to third likely no shot at two one there and nearly a double play that was closer than I thought it would be and the inning will now continue. Second baseman. Here's Chris Great. Owings now. Owings. Fouled off. Throws it on strike three for the final out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Greg Dykeman. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now second baseman, Ryan At the plate now, Ryan Goins sent out to straightaway center field. Gerber will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Digging in to try it again, Mikey White. He's two for four in the ballgame. Mikey White. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Tyler. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Ian Gardick comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 92. All set for the start of the inning, and next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Michael Tolia. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Gerber. It was a walk in his last trip. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The third baseman. Colton. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. 
a curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. 11 to 5, the final tally in this one. Las Vegas used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Birch Smith claims the win out of the pen his first. Ryan Rollison struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.